Jungle Scout Sales FBA Estimator. Okay, so this is the Chrome extension, the FBA browser extension that you can use when you sign up to Jungle Scout. Um, and this is, um, I've only just got this, and um, it looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, so let's just dive over it. Let's dive over it. So I'm in the general search at the moment, as you can see. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is called the average monthly sales, which is actually different to some competitors that you can use with the Chrome extensions. A lot of them give you the search volume, but this one gives you the average monthly sales. So take that as you will. Um, but it's 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 basically it depends how you like to see your data. Now, just to let you know, you can still find the search volume for particular keywords or that you're looking to find out if you use the desktop version of Jungle Scout. But it doesn't actually come up in the Chrome extension. So that's the first thing to note. We've got the average monthly sales there. The next one we've got over here is the average sales rank. So eighteen thousand. Six hundred ninety-one. We've got the price here. We've got the rating number and the opportunity score. Now, I wouldn't take too much notice personally of the opportunity score because there's there's just so many different ways that you can sell. A lot of people are selling slow items. Um, that you know, a lot of people want to sell fast sellers, slow sellers little profit high profit depends what sort of selling you want to do so i personally don't take too much notice of that now moving down onto the actual product pages here so the first thing you want to note is that you've got the obviously the product name here and then the brand we've got the price here and we've got the monthly sales we've got the daily sales which i've actually never seen before we've got the daily sales which is interesting um so there's some stuff that this software's got that some sort of um competition software hasn't got and then i think personally this has got some stuff that the competition has got for example the search volume here um which was actually quite a big deal to me i'll be honest when i found out this one didn't have the search volume but i am kind of starting to like the uh uh, the monthly sales that you get there as long as you can find it which you can on the desktop of jungle scout you got the monthly revenue there as well date first available which is an interesting one um, and then we've got the net profit that it probably thinks that we're making that, that you're making there just to give you an estimate then obviously we've got the all important rating numbers here so we can go down and figure out if we can compete We've then got the rating over here, so the average rating of that rank, see if we can you know, improve it or make a product better, as we know. You've then got the fees for the product, which is once again is quite handy to have, so it gives you some sort of idea of the fees you're going to pay on that weight or the size of the item. And then we've got the rank here as well, so we can see, which is just a moment in time, so it doesn't mean that much, but I guess it kind of does if it's quite low. Um, and then obviously we've got the category here, so for some reason this is in toys and games uh, oh because it's sort of a kids version there um, but yeah I mean so I, I, if we look at the menu here let's look at the features that we can do on the FBA research tool so we can do the customized view there um, and then that what that's going to do is actually take us into different ways that we can customize this view so we've got show sponsor products so that's quite a nice tool to have so you can unshow that which means that if we click on that then it means that we're no longer going to see the uh, ratings up there it means that we're no longer going to see the sponsored ones so if we go back and have a look there you'll now notice that it's just got oh i think i clicked it to turn them back on <laughs> but you'll you'll be able to see when you do that yourself if you click that then it turns the sponsored off yeah, that was totally my fault the internet was lagging a bit if we turn that off then we go back to it then it will show us oh there we go i didn't click apply changes silly me and then you'll see the sponsored has actually gone uh, and personally when i used to use other tools i used to have i used to go down to about four anyway and then look you know count the sort of top 10 onwards to check the reviews because obviously i don't count the sponsored now i'm sure you can do that in the competition as well but i'm just showing you uh, a tutorial so show product information on amazon page show product information on detail page um, and then we've got the data points uh, extension amazon page and then we can just unclick and click all of this stuff depending on the preferences that you desire yourself so that's a little walk around the menu there um, and then we've got the filter results here so we can actually figure out what results we want to filter which is actually really good again so we can check the lowest price if you've got a minimum that you want to go um, lowest ranking number lowest rank lowest sales lowest height so which i think is a really handy thing to have actually to be able to type in the minimums that you're searching for you can also download these results on the csv and we've got the keyword cloud search trends here which connects into the main desktop i would assume and then we've got the download screenshot which is actually quite handy i mean they thought of everything there so that was a quick run over
that was a quick run over of that um, and then obviously what we can do as well as this is that we can not only search on the product page here but you can uh, on the search results page but we can also do the exact same search on the product page when we actually go into it of course um, so let's have a little look as what comes up when we're actually on the product page as opposed to the um, search page for the actual general products It's going to take just a minute to load here because I've got a lot of software. As you can see, we've got Bybot Pro down here, Jungle Scout up here. Um, oh, it was loading then, but I clicked it twice. Uh, and as you can see, oh, it did load up then, and it's disappeared again. So as you can see, well, we as we should be able to see, it will load up the general product page here. Let's just give it a second. It's being really slow at the moment, isn't it? Let me know if you're still watching at this stage. Let me know in the comments below. You are seriously committed. Oh, goodness me. Right, we've got the average monthly... Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to leave this in because it's just funny. Let's click on that again. <laughs> You know me, anyone that watches this channel, I like I like things to be raw. I don't like putting all the editing in. So you can watch my hardship. So we've got the average monthly sales there. We've got the average sales rank, average price, um, and then the opportunity score again. And obviously we've got the different variations down there. And then we've got the same data here as the data that was on the actual search page here. So we've got the net, the rating number, the ratings, rank. So this is the information, average monthly sales on a particular product. So it's really important for us to be able to, as we haven't got the sales estimator um, on the search page, now we can actually click into each product and find out how many, pro how many sales that's actually getting. That will give us a good idea of how well that keyword's doing, or these bunch of keywords that we're looking for as well. So I hope that video's helped. I'm going to go away now because obviously it's not loading properly and I will see you in the next video. If you want to check Jungle Scout out then I have got I've managed to find a lot of discounts in the link below. I will see you in the next video.